Why? Why did you? Why did you stop it? I don't know. Go. Did, is it going? It's going. Okay. Hey guys, Cody with Organic Woodwork here. And if you notice, I'm not Ben. I have hair. I'm one of the co-hosts of our podcast, Build Guild Podcast. You can subscribe here. Also, you can come to my channel at Organic Woodwork here. And today, I'm just jumping on his channel and give you guys a quick overview on sharpening hand planes. This is something I've really gotten into in the last year. And this is part of the set that I bought from Woodcraft and it is the Wood River number three. All the other ones are already honed. Um, so this is the last one to do and I thought I would just show you really quickly how I do it. That way you're not intimidated to actually use hand tools. All right, so we have our plane from Wood River. We have the Veritas honing guide set, which is the one I recommend. There are plenty out there. Um, this one seems to be the most, just the easiest and most effective one. Then we have our honing oil uh, from Smith. The honing oil, you can do this dry on dry stones, but the honing oil really just helps to diverse, disperse of the metal shavings that happen as you're sharpening your blade. Then you have your stones. Uh, we have your fine side, your extra fine side. And then we have our glass stone that is at 16,000 grit um, to really help with it just to sharpen it and tackle those really hard grains um, such as ash which is almost multi-directional cedar as well um, and it helps with less tear out on the soft wood such as pine so this blade has never been taken off the frog at all um, so we're just going to disconnect this pulling up on the lever Take your blade out and bevel. Now this is the reason you want to have a flat head, a little stub will work. Just to undo this, just to loosen it up. Like that. The back bevel you'll lay over here. Move the plane out of the way. So here is a Veritas honing jig on the rolling mount which will actually be making contact with your stone and this keeps you from at an even sharpening uh, plane no pun intended so just to adjust this you would just turn this knob and then move this to which one we're going to stay within our common pitch or standard angle keep it tight there next if you can see here where your blade will be going through you'll take your blade with the sharpening edge down slide it in like so next we'll take the other piece of your jig so the veritas jig here it helps you to know if it's a high angle standard angle or three is here for is for back bevel. Um, so your standard angle, since we're at a two, we're going to stay within these yellow markings here. If we were at a high angle, we would go to these markings here. So since we're at a standard angle, we're going to keep our sharpening angle at 25, which is, if memory serves me right, most of the all the Wood River come at a 25. All right, so we're gonna tighten here. There's a little indention that you can see in the Veritas where the blade is actually going to go. We wanna kinda edge that up as much as we can. Um, so we got it there, then we're gonna tighten this on there. We have, make sure this is tight. Now we're gonna put our blade in. You're going to move the blade up to, this is your stopping point. I like to take my thumb and push it and add pressure here. That way when I start to tighten it down, I know that I'm completely square. So once that's tightened down, we're where the distance we need to be for a 25 degree standard angle. Then we will loosen this portion of the jig. 
slide it off. For the stone, they're, for the DMT, they're color coded. Um, and you probably won't be able to see which is for what grit. So the DMT boxes actually has the color coding along the bottom. So you have red, which is for fine, the green for extra fine, which is what we have here. So we're gonna start off using the red side. So they do make a mechanism which holds the DMT stone, but I just use this rubber non-skid mat and it works perfect for me. So we're just gonna lay our stone on the mat. Remember, we're gonna start with the fine side because the extra fine is on the other side. Then we're gonna take some Smith honing oil. Just gonna put a few drops here on the stone. Again, mostly what this is for is just to disperse the shavings. So we already have our blades set up. We're gonna make sure our rollers to the surface of our stone. We're gonna get some oil on our blade. So you're gonna evenly disperse pressure on the blade as well as the jig and just back and forth in fluid motion until you get your desired angle. So you can see where we're at and how much further we need to go. As you can tell, it was just a little off even but we're getting it to where it's gonna be completely flush. And you'll know once you start to see the discoloration in the steel, when it's here, that's when you're done. So we're gonna wipe the stone, just get some of the shavings that are on there out of the holes. Luckily, the DMT stones have little circles which catch the shavings. We still wanna wipe it, wipe your blade, add a little bit more of the Smith's honing oil, and that way you get back to the full grit. So as you can see, we have less than like a 30 second of an inch in just this little corner, but the rest of it is completely flush. Uh, when you first do this, it does take a little while. The initial sharpening of this, it took a good sweaty 10 minutes. Um, but after that, if you use the honing jig exactly how you used it the first time, um, you, you should have no problem. It should take maybe a minute to sharpen this thing again. So now we're done with the fine side. So we're going to turn the stone over, the extra fine, throw in a little bit of honing oil, and put a little bit of elbow grease in it. So after about one to two minutes of just back and forth continuously on our extra fine side of the stone, we're gonna move from this to our glass stone again for another one to two minutes. And then from there, we should have a pretty good sharpening edge. So here we have our glass stone at 16,000 grit, just placing it on the mat. We're gonna add just a little bit of honing oil. Place our blade flush. And again, just another one to two minutes over our glass stone. So next we're gonna take the blade out. So now we have a completely straight edge. So now we're just gonna assemble our plane. Hey guys, Cody again here with Organic and I hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave comments down below or reach us on any of our social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, and visit our website at www.organicwoodwork.com. Thanks. You mentioning me, sweet Caroline. I do recommend using honing oil. It just helps to disperse all the little, sh little dirt and mecha, like, fibers that come off. 
if you keep it, it'll tell you. So for red is fine, for green, for red, for red is fine. Okay, so the team did <laughs> on skid pad, which is rubber, and that's really all you need. If I don't even know what to say there. It's really, that's all you need. Okay. Say that one. So they do make a mechanism that holds the DMT zone. I think I stop it. I'm just gonna start. Over. <laughs> they do make a mechanism which holds the DMT zone. <laughs> I say zone. <laughs> It's the same thing. <laughs>